Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Open Mic Night live at the Zoom Bar DC. We've got a great show for you tonight. We've got Bill Sherman and Joseph Stegner and more. So sit back, relax, and have a great time. And Bill Sherman's going to kick us off. So take it away, Bill. Hi, everybody out there in, in Internet land. Um, Merry Christmas. Um, and Christmas is 12 days long, so I can still say that, and it's legit, okay? On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. No, okay, fine. So this is a song I haven't done for about two years. I, I know that because my brother's now 75, but I did this two years ago because he was 73, and there was a lot. There's a line in the song about being 73, so that's why I know that I did this song two years ago. Hang around, Willie boy. Don't you raise the sails anymore? It's for sure. I spent my spent my whole life at sea, and I'm pushing age seventy three. Now this only one place that was meant for me Whoa, to be home again down in old Virginia with my very best friend they call him ragtime with him I can't wait just to sniff that air Dip that snuff, I won't have no cares. That that big rocking chair won't go nowhere. Slow down, Willie boy. Your heart's gonna give right out on you. It's true, and I believe I'm. I know what we should do Turn a stern and point the shore The seven seas won't carry us no more Woke to be home again Down in old Virginia my very best friend They call him Ragtime Willie I can't wait just to see the folks Excuse me? Listen once again to the stale old jokes That big, that big rocking chair won't go the sound Willie boy ah. <laughs> the flying Dutchman's on the reef it's my belief we've used up all our time And it's still too steep a climb And the days that remain ain't worth a dime Woe to be home again Down in old Virginia With my very best friend I can't wait just to see the folks and listen once again to the stale old jokes. That big rockin', big rockin' chair won't go nowhere. I can hear something calling on me. Don't you hear that? 
that sound down in old Virginia. I just want to get my feet back on the ground down in old Virginia. I know she's my very best friend. Call them ragtime will and I believe old rockin's got me again. Hey Bill, what's the story behind that song? Say it again. What's the story who wrote that song? That that is the band off of the Brown album, which was their second album. First came Big Pink, then came the Brown album, then came Stage Fright. So if, if you haven't picked up on it over the years, I'm a big band fan. I, I, I just, I used to, when I was a teenager, I used to cry myself to sleep with the band uh, on the record player. <laughs> which, it, what's their most famous song? What's their most famous song? What's their most famous song? Yeah. Gosh. And I know I know them. I just can't picture what they say. Well, it's real hard to say that they've got a most famous song. Do they do the wait or? Wait? Yeah, yeah, the wait. I guess the wait would oh, be their most oh, famous okay. song, and maybe because Joan Baez. Uh, uh, I love the playing for change version of that song. It's awesome. If you've never heard it, I'd listen to it. I love it. It's really. Good. I, I haven't heard that. I don't think. Uh, uh, I I didn't like. Joan Baez's take on it because I, 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 it's, I mean, it's a song about uh, brothers and men at war and that sort of a thing, and it just didn't make sense to me that Joan Baez did it. But you know, that's okay. Just, you, that's just my thing. It. Say it again. You do it. You uh, I do it. it. You play it, don't you? Yes, yes, I've done it. I've done it. Uh, it's not. I don't have it set in my head tonight, so I won't do it tonight. But yes, I've, I, I, I do the wait, and I, I think that's a great song. Yeah. So I guess that's probably their most famous song because other people have covered it. Yeah, it's uh, a great song. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. How about we do a little bit of Simon and Garfunkel? Give me a moment here. Uh, no, not that. Um, see, this happens to me, and if you've noticed, it happens to some of the other guys too. After they've done a song, they can't bring the next one up into their head musically. Something tells me it's all happening at the zoo. I do believe it. I do believe it's true. It's a light and tumble journey from the east side to the park. Just a fine and fancy ramble to the zoo. But you can take the crosstown bus if it's raining or it's cold. And the animals will love it if you do. Oh, yeah, girl. Tells me it's all happening at the zoo. I do believe in, I do believe it's true. Oh, 
Song, don't you, Marie Louise? Jay Dill. It's a great song. Yeah. And, and and I've said it before and I'll say it again. That's off the bookends album by Simon and Garfunkel, which is in, in my estimation, I don't know how much my estimation is worth, is is the best album that Simon and Garfunkel ever put out. So Thanks there you have the that. Reminder. I'll have to check it out. Say it again. Thanks for the reminder. I'll have to check out the whole album. Sure. Okay, thanks. Well, up next we've got Joseph Stegner. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Marie Louise, and thank you, Bill. So I'll start with the one I wrote this morning called December 26, 2023. Oh, well, I guess I should have combed my hair. <laughs> with just a few days left of this year, it has been one of my most prolific. With 55 public domain periodicals that I hope to humanity will stick. My mother, who passed away last year, believed I could rise to fame with my rhyme. She enabled me to leave the ambulance to give such venture my time. There was a question at the root of this that was pressuring my heart that started when a woman died in my ambulance from a bullet that tore her chest apart. How could anyone do this to another human being began at the back of Highland Hospital I would resign in a matter of weeks to make our species more hospitable. There were plenty trained to do a medic's job responding to preventable crime if the ones who caused the violence could be influenced in the mind. I believe in the power of love and words that are born of the same, believing there's a way to connect with anyone through the heart or the brain. The huge impediment to this is apathy and the cold soul, who lacks the light of empathy that takes the time to behold. Instead, the dirty mind has rule, and imagination is the Lord, as assumptions and false narratives summon demons to the sword, who believe that's what they ought to do because they lack the lamp of love and are fooled to think their darkness represents the will that's from above. It is as if I've been rehearsing for this time we are in now, when falsehood is being bullhorned like a spray of seeds after a plow. In the natural balance of life, opposing forces rise with strength for inevitable conflict with each other before a judge in court or in a wild river bank, or in the public square of opinion where matters of destiny take place in the way that human energy will be used for good or to force disgrace. Today, a man afraid of prison for wanton selfishness unchecked is projecting his rhetoric of venom to make the strength of our nation wrecked. Hopeful beneficiaries are in denial and pretend they can't hear and can't see, yet insist they are the holy ones with vision for our destiny. I am the... I am among the ones to be labeled as subversive for my love, as I will not tolerate silently liars insisting they are a voice from above. Hypocrites who want control of women will arm themselves to kill while insisting that the unborn is superior to its mother's will. Sperm worship with euphemism is what it really is to say that once inseminated, a woman becomes servant to jizz. The gospel of forgiveness becomes a dogma of pretend when just for one moment's action, it is illegal to make that course end. 
So they say that's how God wants it, because we aren't supposed to kill, while their lying mouths are proven by weapons they wield to impose their will. Yeah, I'm aware I will be terminated, but a Johnny Appleseed I have been, and there is literally a forest of seeds that will emerge when I'm removed among men. So I carry on until that time comes. Okay. Oh, all right. Thank you for that, one. Joseph. Thank you for that. I thought there were some very excellent lines in there. Um, for instance, uh, uh, the line about uh, spreading seed after the plow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I thought thank that you. was a great line. Yeah. Thank you. I like that too. So this one is an old one from my periodical titled Zeus Eating His Son. This one's called In a Meadow of Shady Rest, Sandy Hook Lived We. I think I've done it before, but for a chapter of my life, an arrow shot from Lake Zor. My fourth and fifth grade years helped strengthen the wings by which I soar. Neighborhood football games in our front yard. What could be more fun? underground forts, climbing trees, and a wooded hillside on which to run. The juxtaposition of childhood heaven on earth also knew the taste of hell. To witness a stepfather beat my mother and a neighbor's apathy to yells for help. I learned to play the trumpet there, an endeavor lasting only three years. Bruce Jenner was a visiting friend of one of my neighborhood peers. What brought me to this poem was the inception of a fight, wherein I witnessed the incipient spark of what ignited a violent night. Like presence in a linear accelerator, exactly where particles collide, witnessing face to face the collision of two insides, one with anger, the other with fear. What one projected would swiftly appear. The incident didn't end until an instant that directed my life when a neighbor watched with his arms folded as a husband tried to drown his wife. The wife who needed assistance from, I don't want to get involved, happened to be my mother. Apathy is not how problems are solved. When I saw my neighbor's reaction and the hollow of his words, I vowed to never be that man who ignores a cry that's heard. That was 45 years ago, and my vow stands. So that's it for me tonight. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year. That was a well-put-together piece and, of course, sad. Yeah. Man, I'm sorry I didn't want something more cheery out of Christmas. I guess I do have one. one. That's a great one, Joseph. Thank you. You're welcome. OK. Um, Bill, you ready to do two more? So I got two more here up my sleeve. So give me a moment here to get my head into it. I went down to St. James Infirmary. Saw my baby there She was laid out On a long white table So sweet, so cool, so fair Let her go, let her go And God bless her Wherever she may be Well, that woman can search the whole wide world over She ain't never gonna find another man like me So I went down to St. James Infirmary You know, you know, I saw my baby then. Well, she was laid down on a 
long white table So sweet, so cool, so fair Now when I die, I want you to bury me In my snakeskin suit, boots, a white suit in the stoop. In my snakeskin suit, boots, a white suit and my Stetson hat And put a $20 gold piece on my watch chain so my folks will know that when I died, I was standing pat. Well, I went down to St. James Infirmary. You know I put my baby there. Well, she was laid out on a long white table. So sweet, so cool, and so fair. So sweet, so cool, and so fair. Well, that woman can search the whole wide world over. She ain't never gonna find another man. Like me hey, no. yeah, Listen to the lyrics tonight Thank you the you. first time So is he saying that he put her there And then he's like yeah, well, you know, I try to, you know, I don't want to leave any guessing games, you know, because it, it's implied in the first, it's implied in the first verse, but in the last verse, I want to make it clear yeah. that what, what's going on here is he put her there. Yeah, yeah, no, that made it clear, yeah. It's like that, hey, Joe, where are you going with that gun? Here? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And some Paul Simon. thing I remember, oh, I was lying in my bed, I couldn't have been no more than one or two, but from the room next door, I heard the radio, and I heard my mama laugh the way some ladies do. Music was seeping through, was seeping through now. The next thing I remember, uh, I was walking down the street uh, with my f guys, with my buds. I was uh, with my troops, yeah. And somewhere down the avenue, some guys were shooting pool. And I heard the sound of a cappella groups, yeah. And it was late in the evening, and the girls were out on the stoops. Funky bar, and I went outside to 
smoke myself a J. And when I went back to the room, everybody seemed to move. So I turned my amp up loud and began to play. That room away. I blew it away. It didn't did it did ba ba. Didn't did it did ba 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 that room away yes I did well the first time I met you said I'm gonna get that girl said I'm gonna get that girl no matter what I do yeah well I may have been in love before maybe once or twice I was on the floor but I never met no one like I met you, yeah And it was late in the evening And the music was seeping through was Seeping through, yes it was was Seeping through, baby Cause I love you now, honey Music was seeping through um, Cause I love you Yeah, I, I love you Now mama said I love you and That's all I got for this evening, ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Awesome. I wanted to end on a a fun note. And you did. Yeah. Yay! Thank you. Thank well, you. That's our show, that's our show for you to, uh, for tonight because it's it's the holidays. So yeah, it's uh, the holidays. That's right. Happy holidays. Yep. Happy New Year. Hey, see y'all next week. See y'all next year. Yeah, next yeah. year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Have a good New Year. Take care, Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. Take Thanks, care. Marcia. Rosemary. Bye bye, guys. Bye, Marie Marie Louise. Take care. Good night. Good night. Be well. Bye. Take care, everyone.